They done fucked it up! <laughs> Literally high res OB 64 Paladin Strike. Now, I know I'm like super late on this, but I've been w trying to do this video for a while and I've I've just I'm just now getting around to it. I mean, it's, it's not going to get even if I had done it like the first week that the thing had come out when they put out the update, uh I probably wouldn't have gotten much views anyway, but I feel like just doing it anyway cuz it's, you know, it can be done as a video. So yeah, if you're new to high res or or don't know what that means it's a term that almost ruined like the original paladins game so high res is the developer of paladins and they sort of i guess they help with paladin strike as well which is the uh, mobile version but basically back when it was in beta the original paladins game <laughs> which is like ridiculous when i say that because it, it's still in beta to this day due, due to all the bugs like the literally the only reason they came out of beta was to release paladins on the switch or, like, the Nintendo Switch, because uh, the Nintendo Switch doesn't allow uh, games to be in beta. So, basically, like, a few patches ago, hi -Rez decided to come up with the brilliant idea of changing, like, the core of how Paladins worked. They introduced, like, an entire new card system that nobody asked for or wanted, and only after, like, several months and patches later, they reverted it back to how it was originally. Now... Hi-Rez has, or at least like a, maybe like two, a month or two months ago, hi -Rez has done a similar thing to Paladin Strike, you know, to the Paladin Strike mobile game. Uh, so with update 3.0, they essentially have done something similar in reworking stuff that nobody asked for or wanted. They changed the way how you can get new champions, so before it used to be tickets. Uh, there are three different currencies before, so gold, tickets, crystals. Uh, gold and tickets were the only ones that weren't like... Uh, they were in-game, and then crystals, obviously, you have to, like, buy them through, uh, you have to physically pay for it with real money. Uh, but now they added champion fragments, which essentially everyone starts from scratch again. Which, like, honestly, I knew that they were gonna do this, because yes, it was super easy to get champions before. It took, like, maybe three or four days or so. Now it takes almost, like, a week just to get old champions that have, like, the lowest fragments to unlock. Uh, they changed what you can get with gold now too. There's a little bit more stuff and a less stuff than before. But the big one is, which I don't think they mentioned in the patch notes for it, is that once you get past level like five runes, you need gold as well to basically upgrade it to like level six, level seven, etc. So like while it is nice that there are many ways to use gold now, it's kind of weird that they didn't tell anyone, which just proves my whole point of this video. Like. Hyrus just never communicates and understands what their community wants. Or maybe they do understand and just don't care nonetheless. Uh, but like, I'm I'm an optimist, so I think it's more of the former. I think each individual person on the development team do care, but just the whole company as a whole doesn't seem to give a shit. Like another example, they announced like almost a month ago, almost a month and a half ago, that there'd be download codes for an open beta for like the console version of Realm Morale. Like I said, it's been almost a month and a half now. I think it was like mid-July, maybe almost June. And no word from high from anyone at high res like, what the fuck? Uh, I think they announced it on like a Twitter thing and they were like, you know, sign up here, put in your email. And we're going to have it, and we're, they said that they we're going to be releasing de uh, beta download codes next week. And that was like a month, like, like I said, like two, almost two months ago at this point. So what the fuck? Like this glaring issue was one of the main reasons why I stopped playing the original Paladins game. Because I realized quite quickly that all their games are just quick crash grab, or just like cash grabs. And they don't care too much about the actual state of the game, of their games. And that's one of the reasons why I honestly haven't played Paladin Strike now for a bit, for maybe almost a month and a half, two months now. I just haven't played the game. Like, like, I mean, there's there's other issues with Paladin Strike that I guess I don't know. I don't I don't want to get into too much detail into this video, but like, basically the rank system in that game is trash too. It's based on it's just based on how how much time you can put in to the game. I mean, I guess you could say that with all. Uh, competitive or ranked systems in each game, but there's literally like no. It's just like how many games can how, like <laughs> like are you gonna play six hours of of a competitive game? 
uh, like in a mobile. Like I don't want to play six hours on my phone, just versing like bots and stuff. And they have bots, which they don't mention either in the game that that uh, are in the actual ranked game as well. So it's like you're not even playing against real people, and they don't mention that. So. When I had originally decided to make this video and writing out the script, Paladin Strike was still in update 3.0, uh, which is what, which is like the the clip that you saw before. I don't know how much of that I'm gonna leave in, but that's basically what the what I was planning before. But then a few days before, when I was making the video, uh, they came out with another update, update 5.0, which changed a lot of things again. <laughs> so because they changed a lot of things, I decided to. Just to just make another video on it here. Um, I haven't made a video uh, about this for a while for multiple reasons. I honestly haven't played it that much. I haven't even played it for like maybe a month now. I've been, I've been kind of like on and, on and off playing it and because of the update 2.0, uh, because of all that. So yeah, they revamped the, the way the runes work again. So now instead of gold, it's scrolls and the color runes uh, to upgrade the levels of the runes they changed that, so it's basically a little bit different now. Now, I still do really want to bash this game, because I am just not a, a huge fan of uh, high res uh, at this point. But I will give them some props for the 5.0 update. Now, I have, I, like I said, I haven't played it for a month. There's probably some new stuff now, too, as well. I'll probably update 6.0 at this point, but... I mean, I haven't played it for a while, but... Uh, now, I did fix some things that just didn't work out before. So now, instead of each... Uh, individual character having their own runes that you have to level up. Uh, they just decide they just reduced it down to only four different runes now that are divided by each class and paladin. So tank or frontliner, healer, damage, and flank. Uh, you know, which flank and damage are essentially the same, just DPS, but I digress. So, you know, that definitely makes it easier for when they drop new heroes or new, you know, quote unquote, which, you know, are heroes that should be in the game because they are in, in the original paladins game. But, you know, whatever. So yeah, each month they drop what, they drop a new hero or so. So, and this makes the introduction of new heroes uh, just a little bit smoother because uh, this change when a new character dropped. Because before the change, uh, when a new character dropped, they were severely, like, underpowered, under ruined because, like, you have to start from scratch, basically with them because it used to be like individual runes that you'd have to level up uh, but now it's just basically like each category or each class right so it makes it a lot easier uh, but yeah basically you had to power up from scratch while every other champion already had like over 20 runes and whatever uh, gold is only used for upgrading runes now I believe and a much needed change which I do actually like is that they revamped the rank system in the game so now instead of having to wait like a week to rank up once they changed it to like a star system, which is what most MOBA games have, like most mobile MOBA games, and, and you know, MOBA games like League of Legends and Dota on uh, PC and whatever. Uh, so basically there's tiers now, so there's like silver 1, 2, 3, 4, and then after that is gold 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, you have to win enough games to rank up to the next tier. Uh, this new system is way better because you can rank up how, how, however many times you want, uh, you know, within a single day if you want, so basically. Obviously, if you win a game, you, you get a star. If you lose a game, you lose a star, right? So, yeah, those are the biggest changes. But there are a few minor ones here and there that, uh, you know, are kind of nice. I guess they, they fix the thing where uh, now if one of the enemy teams steps on the thing, it's still in overtime. So that's that's really nice. Um, but there, there are still a lot of bots in the game, like non-player controlled AI that join your team and the enemy team, which... Paladin Strike does not mention anywhere, I believe. I don't think on their game or or one of their or their um what's it called? Their like management team or the people who develop the game. I don't think they've ever mentioned that. And it is kind of annoying that we have to rank up all the ruins all over again because there's a new set of currency for it. And like I said, I still play the game like occasionally. I I honestly haven't been playing it even occasionally. I haven't played it for like a month. But I just felt like making this because I've had, uh, I, I just get super lazy. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I have this idea for like a script and like for a video that I can make. But then I just don't, don't end up doing it just because like, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, it's still a pretty fun game, especially since it's a mobile one. 
Um, but yeah, there's still like, quite a few annoying things that Hyrus still doesn't address. And there literally is no one playing the game right now, so it's hard to find anything else you in a decently populated area. And I know that that is not high, necessarily Hyrus's fault, but they have not been advertising this game at all. And the reason for that is because they know that it's just like a quick cash grab of a game, so they'll put like the lowest minimal minimal amount of effort to keep things going along in the game. And that just annoys me, because I noticed that with all the games, like Paladins, they put like the minimal minimal amount of artwork in the game, the minimal amount of like effort into their game, and then they just like, you know what? Yeah, this is good. Let's put some like microtech action bullshit so we can make some money. And yeah. I don't really know why I'm making the video now, because I don't even really play it that much anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's basically like a dead game at this point. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you guys somewhat enjoyed it anyway. Um, this little bit of a rant. <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this, you know, it. If you guys want more of this type of video, or if you guys actually want a video of me playing it, like live, whatever, then leave a like and comment. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.